I don't have a rash. Let me explain. Laugh out loud, love a lot, and shop for what makes you happy. Hey guys, Mandy here with Laugh Love Shop, and today this crazy face is all about this crazy bag. I have an Ipsy bag. I didn't mean to. <sighs> That's a whole other story. But I thought for this Ipsy bag, I would use the products in a get ready with me. So get ready with me. <laughs> this that I have on my face now is the Pure Lease Watermelon Energizing Marshmallow Peel Off Mask, which has been sitting on my face for a little bit. So I'm gonna start peeling that off. So the thing about the Ipsy bag this month, I had postponed my Ipsy bag until like September. And then Ipsy, sent me an email and said, hey, you can change your plan so that you only get the bag every other month instead of every month. And I was like, well, that's cool. So I switched over to that plan thinking that they would still have it paused until September because I didn't want anything until September. Um, but no, <laughs> as soon as I switched my plans, they started charging me again. So I got this bag by accident and I was really mad about it. So I have canceled my Ipsy subscription, completely canceled it. And if I ever decide that I want to do it again, I can just sign up for it again and do it again. Uh, I actually think they keep your account. They just don't send you any more boxes when you cancel your subscription. And I feel kind of bad about that because I have found a lot of my favorite products that's the cat. <laughs> I have found a lot of my favorite products through Ipsy. So I hate to have negative feelings about them when they really have helped me discover some of my favorite products. However, they just keep sending me bags when I don't want it. They don't make it clear and easy to postpone your bags or cancel your bag. Anyway, I am a little bit frustrated about that. Now, let's talk about this mask. It does smell like watermelon candy or maybe strawberry candy something like that it smells very sweet and <laughs> I do like it a lot you do have to use a lot of it like I only used my t-zone and like just doing that I only have like half of the tube left and it says on the back to put it on your face neck and chest and there's no way that this little sample size tube would have made it all over my face and down my neck and onto my decollete. So I just put it on my T-zone and now I have peeled it off and I'm rubbing off some of the little extra pieces that are around the edges and now it's in my hair. <laughs> oh well, does my face feel any different? No, not at all. And I do like Pure Lease. I actually had gotten a sample of their BB cream before and I actually went and bought another one because I like it. I think later in the season I will do a summertime makeup look if you guys are interested in that. So anyway, it smells good, it's fun to peel off, but did it actually do anything with my face? I don't think so. All right, next I'm just gonna put on some primer. I did not get a primer in my kit. I'm actually not gonna tell you guys everything I didn't get because obviously I only got five things. It'll be a little ridiculous to tell you everything that I got. But putting on some primer because the next thing that I got was this Tarte uh, Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Full Coverage Foundation. Now I don't usually prefer full coverage foundations in the summertime. They just feel too much for me personally, but we are going to try it. We'll see if this is even a skin match. I don't know. Oh yeah, that doesn't look too bad so far. So let's get that all over the nose. I always start with my nose because that is the reddest part of my face. Um, I really like how this is feeling going on. <laughs> it's really nice. It feels very smooth. And I still managed to get it in my pores. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see that. I know my lighting is really bad today. My little ring light ran out of battery and I was like, well... If I take the time to charge the ring light battery, I'm going to run out of time before <laughs> quiet time is up. That is something, okay, let's talk about this. Let's talk about summertime and my summertime recording schedule. Guys, I have my three kids at home. They are seven, six, and almost two. And now that the other two, the older two, are out of school for the summer, I don't know how I'm gonna fit in recording. So my summertime 
video schedule is going to be different. The end of my video is going to be the same, but uh, the recording schedule is just going to have to be different because there's no way, whoops, I still have, I still have some peel off mask up there. Anyway, there is no way that I am going to be able to upload three videos a week <laughs> during the course of the summer. I'm just not. For those of you who are like, work from home moms, or maybe you do YouTube too, and you have little kids, like, how do you do it? How do you do it? Because also, my kids are acting crazy, crazy. And I don't know if it's just from, you know, they're used to being at school and being not entertained the whole time they're there, but you know, something to do. They're being engaged. That's the right word. They're being engaged the whole time that they're there. And now that it's summer, it's like, it's like they're just bored out of their minds and it's actually not quite warm enough to go swimming every day so I don't know I don't know but there are 53 weekdays left <laughs> until school starts I'm sorry if that makes some of you feel rushed and you're really mad at me right now I'm sure you probably I'm sure there are probably some people who are mad at me right now but that's just just how I feel okay all right, next, I would usually powder, but actually I think this foundation is, is looks pretty good. It's a pretty matte foundation, so I don't feel like I really need to powder. So I think I'm actually just going to put powder on my nose. Also, I'm gonna put on some blush, and this is a Pacifica Duo that came in an Ipsy bag. Not my Ipsy bag, it came in my sister Jessica's Ipsy bag. Hi Jess, I stole it from her. And um, I told her I was going to. I don't think she believed me, but then I stole it. <laughs> so I gave her the next blush that came into my Ipsy bag. <laughs> anyway, I looked. I looked for this product online, and you couldn't get it online. It only came in the Ipsy bag. So what was that to do? Wow, guys. My blush is, like, gliding over this foundation. I think I might be in love. Thank you, Ipsy, for accidentally sending me a bag that I didn't need to get because this foundation, I think I really like it. Okay, up next is this Sugar Cosmetics highlighter. It came in a little sleeve, so that's what the actual thing looks like. I think I've gotten this before, but I'm not entirely sure. Mini highlighter in Champagne Champion. So I'm gonna take my highlighter brush, which I also got in an Ipsy bag. This is a Luxie brush. Tapered highlighter is what it's called, and also what it looks like. But I'm just going to take this on the tops of my cheekbones. And I would wager that you guys are seeing nothing on camera because I am barely seeing anything <laughs> in person. Wow. Okay. Well, that basically felt like I didn't put anything on. So that can go in the donation bin. All right, my fourth Ipsy product is this Tetris by Ipsy eyeshadow. Again, it's in a little sleeve, so we'll just slide that out. And this is what it looks like. And then the shade, it's very weird. They have this bright blue box. And then the shade inside is this chartreuse is what they're calling it. It's very gold with a slight sort of green hint to it. And it does not match my outfit today, but we're going to try it anyway. You want to see what my outfit is today? I'll, I'll put it up on the screen now. And also, you guys should also follow me on Instagram because that's where I usually post my outfits of the day. And besides posting outfits of the day, I'm thinking about doing more with my Instagram stories since it's going to be kind of hard to do more videos this summer. I think Insta stories would be kind of just a better option. I thought about doing more vlogging type things, but vlogging, I give major props to people who do vlogging every day or like even once a week because it is a lot of work to edit videos from vlogging. Like it's, it's just so much to put all the little pieces together. Major props. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my finger to pack it on my lid and then I'm gonna take a fluffier brush like 
this one from Real Techniques. This is their base shadow brush. It's a bit fluffier and put it in the crease. So we're going to try a one shadow look and see how it goes. All right, now I'm just going to take some of the face powder that I used before and try to blend this out just a little bit. All right, that is it for the green. And I am feeling like my look needs some anchoring down on the bottom. So I'm just going to take a sort of medium taupe, typically a crease color shade and put that on my lower lashes. Nothing too harsh, just something that like I said, we'll ground the look rather than just have it be kind of floating up there above my eyeballs. Okay, little mini review for the eyeshadow. It's not a color I would normally choose, which is actually kind of nice. It's nice to experiment with things outside of your comfort zone, which this definitely is. It didn't have a whole lot of fallout for being as sparkly and shiny and glittery as it is. That being said, it's not my favorite. I don't think it's something that I am going to go to on a regular basis. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in the donation bin. Up next, I am going to put on some eyeliner. This is an Essence Eyeliner Pen. And it says Long Lasting and it's in the shade Brown, which I prefer brown eyeliner. So I was really excited to find an Essence one that was brown because I have used their black one before and I really liked it. So I'm very excited. I think I've only used this once before, so it's kind of still pretty new to me. Another thing I'm trying out is the Essence Volume Stylist Lash Extension Mascara. And I love the Lash Princess Mascara by Essence. And so I thought I would try this because Jessica from Gem Beauty 89, she tried this in one of her more recent videos and really liked it. Now I have tried this a few times and I like it, but to be honest, it's exactly the same formula, I think, as every other Essence <laughs> mascara. So, uh, which is good, but you know, it, it doesn't really matter which Essence mascara I grab. I like them all. And then the last thing I'm going to use on my eyes is the Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Highlighter. And I'm going to use this in my lower inner rim. So I'm going to do this and I'll be right back. Okay, that is the eyes done. Next, for my last Ipsy product, this is a lipstick by Real Her. One word. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. And it is a rose pink. And it's a little little baby travel size. Little baby uh, sample size. It's very tiny. The box is like regular size so I was expecting it to be a full size but no it's a, <laughs> it's a little sample size which is fine and it's actually a really beautiful neutral pink color so pretty excited about that hopefully it won't break off in the tube because it's a little loose in there so I guess we'll find out let's see all right so the color looks brighter on my lips than it did in the tube uh, which is fine I don't mind a slightly brighter pink in the spring and summertime however the coverage is not that good I have pretty pigmented lips and I can kind of see the pigment through the lipstick so um, I don't know I'm gonna have to experiment with that a little bit more okay so let's do a quick recap of the five products and then we'll talk about the bag itself the five products this peel off mask Smells good, it's fun. Does it do anything really? No, so probably wouldn't repurchase. The foundation, absolutely surprised to say that I love this. And once my other foundations are gone, I will probably repurchase this because this is really beautiful. I like it a lot. The highlighter, guys, it didn't show up. So of course, I'm not gonna be a fan of that. The eyeshadow, it's pretty. I'm surprised that there isn't more fallout. And I'm surprised that I don't have glitter <laughs> everywhere. Uh, does it make my eyes look more yellow green? Yes, it does. However, I feel like on me, it also makes my teeth look a little yellow green. So probably I am not going to continue using that. That will be donated. And then the last product, which is the lipstick, I'm still up in the air about. I'm going to have to try different ways to wear it. I put it on like a normal lipstick this time. But usually when it comes to lip products, whether it's a lipstick or something like this, like a liquid lipstick, usually I will 
dot it on my lips and then use my finger to rub it in and sort of use it as a stain and that usually works better for me so I'm gonna try that with this next time so that one's a maybe these two are no's this is a definite yes and this is I'll use it up but I won't repurchase it and now let's talk about the bag itself it's supposed to be Tetris themed I get it I'm not a huge fan of Tetris I don't play Tetris I'm not a huge fan of the color and uh, I do like the little Tetris piece on the zipper though. That's pretty cute. And it's been a while since I've gotten an Ipsy bag, but they don't usually do like special linings on the inside, I don't think. So that's different and fun. Also, I not only got this card that talks about the theme for the month, which you always get the card, but on the inside, it has all five products. Have they been doing that for a while? If you guys get Ipsy bags, let me know down below. Have they done this for a while? Because they didn't used to. It used to only be online. This is really nice because you don't have to keep going back and forth from like your computer. You can just set this up here while you're trying stuff on. So good plan ipsy all right guys that is everything for this video if you enjoyed it please do give it a thumbs up to let youtube know that you enjoy beauty videos also leave me a comment down below if you would like to see my sort of go-to summertime look it's really simple it's basically a no makeup makeup look for the summertime let me know if you'd like me to do a video on that or if you have any other suggestions of what you would like to see this summer. There aren't going to be a whole lot of videos this summer, so I really want to hone in on what everybody is looking for. So please let me know and I will talk to you next time. Bye. New videos every Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. In the meantime, check these out and follow me across social media.